Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist, and I'm back again with another very informative tutorial here on YouTube. So we're trying lately to post more on YouTube and be more active. So it all depends on you guys. If you want to see more, please make sure to uh, like the videos that we post. Also, if you have any uh, sort of questions, you will notice that whenever someone uh, comments in our YouTube, we answer every single, you know, uh, comment or uh, if you have any questions. So uh, please make sure to subscribe and uh, like this video or share it if you know anyone who is interested. In this video, we are going to see another method uh, to get the topography for free. We posted earlier in our YouTube channel how to get the topography using QGIS and Earth Explorer. And now there's a new method here uh, in this video on how to get the topography just using Google Earth. So let's navigate to any place on the uh, any place on the Earth. And I've chosen Australia. So let's go to this spot in here. And now you can see that in Google Earth, if I move, you notice here that we have elevations. But how do we get this piece of information to use in other softwares? So there's uh, a way around it. So all we have to do is to go and create a, a polyline. Let's call this uh, Google Earth Topo. And let's try and create as many points as possible that cover that uh, spot. I'll tell you later on why do we need these points. So let's, as if you're uh, just a little kid and trying to uh, paint something. So all you have to do is to uh, create as many points as possible. And for the sake of the tutorial, I think that's uh, going to be enough for the moment. So, and then what you're going to do is click on OK. And you got this, you know, a bunch of lines here and there. Then go and right click and choose Save As. Save As. And let's save it here in this folder. And let me now go to this website. It's called GPS Visualizer and you do here the add elevation. And all you have to do right now is to import that file that you have just created, which is this one, Google Earth Topo, and click on Open. Sorry, Google Earth Topo and click on Open. And now what this software is going to do, it is going to take a look at these different points and go to Google Earth and grab the elevation for each one of them. And then you can save that as a GPX file or a plain text. So all you have to do now is to click on Convert and Add Elevation. So this website is going to get these uh, coordinates, look them up in Google Earth using some API, and then get these you know different uh, elevations, and you can save them as a TXT file now. So you can see that we have all the latitude, longitude, and the, al the altitude assigned to them. And we can download this as a TXT file. Now, if I open the TXT file, you can see that we have all of these points with their uh, elevation. Okay. Now, we can go and open this inside QGIS, for example, to see how it looks like. We go to Add Layer and Add Text Delimited Layer. And then we can navigate to that uh, file that we've just downloaded click and open and then what we can do is let me take a look at this you can see that the separator here is not semicolon but it is a tab actually and then we have the uh, latitude and the longitude so um, latitude and uh, longitude and then we can go and uh, leave that by default it's WGS 84 and um, I think we're good. And then all you have to do is to click on Add. And you can see that we have the points in here. Sorry, I think that I flipped the latitude and the longitude. So let's go to Layer, Add Layer again, Text Limited. And go to this one. And we have here the longitude and then the latitude, WGS. And click on Add, click on OK. And we have that in there. And we can go and grab 
in ISRI, for example, satellite imagery, and you can see that we have that exact location. If we go and right click, open the attribute table, you can see that we have the altitude here, the X and Y in uh, the right place, and we can go and interpolate this one and create a uh, topographic map really easily. So uh, that's it for the tutorial. Uh, please, if you have any question, make sure to leave it in the comments below and answer every single one of them. And uh, please subscribe if you're not a subscriber and see you in another video.